Don't be leaving, unlocking your locker, setting your lock on the side, and pushing the draw and forget to push your lock on there. Yeah, you're gonna get rude to <laughs> talk about having leadership and basic training and your boot camp experience yep all the leadership roles in boot camp yeah yeah so i don't know if you are interested in having a leadership role in boot camp if you do it just kind of puts you in the front line of every everything else that's going on in boot camp so you pretty much have that responsibility and you pretty much are going to be held to it so just think about it and if you want to do it then do it i do you recommend getting one of these Okay, I didn't originally, but then I got selected for leadership. I didn't want to be in leadership, so if it, do I recommend it? Depends on the person. It depends on, yeah. It depends on the disease. Just understand it's not going to do anything for you out in fleet, okay? Yeah, it literally does not. It literally is just for boot camp. And you could, like, if you do really good at it, you could get back, which <laughs> is like, your RDCs recommend you to rank up in boot camp. But you have to be an E1 or E2. You can't be an E3, right? That's correct. Yeah. If you're already an E3, then don't. But you don't have to have one of these jobs to get it. You don't. You yeah. don't. But it's just... It just kind of puts you on that front line so that they're paying attention to you. And if you can hold yourself accountable for whatever your job is and you do what you're supposed to do, then they will look at that. Yeah. And also, just if you do get it, just know you're going to get fired at some point. Because literally, nobody that had like a job was that person for the rest of boot camp like they everybody got fired like unless literally you who? unless you're really good like what if you one know person no i'm just saying everybody's no, you cut this out. but what one person literally nobody kept the same job that's because that's our command you know how she did with everybody yeah. holloway yes. never got fired from her job she was always medical people okay holloway she's the only person who kept her job literally i'm looking at this list and everybody else got switched out like yeah everybody got fired so if you get fired just be like however i once i got leadership i hadn't ever got fired yeah but i'm saying but you wasn't to begin with yeah exactly like so to start your very start because and the only reason why i wasn't because i didn't stand up for it like i didn't want to do it i wanted to stay in the back yeah. sense of everything i did not want to be on the front so line. even if you like if you want to be it and mm -hmm. when it first go around you don't get it don't it's okay because you yeah. might get picked again. Exactly. Or if you got picked, you probably not gonna be it. Or like you probably get it and then you get fired and then you get it back. Like it really yeah. just depends on you and it really really depends on RDCs. It really that's who it depends so, on your RDCs. And let me just tell y'all, that is not God, okay? And like I just told y'all, this do not matter in the fleet. Okay. So don't try to break your back, try to cry and literally people was crying about over their job and I'm just looking at them like, like it's not that serious. It don't matter. Like, it's not gonna go with you. It doesn't put any stars on your no paperwork. You don't get no extra mm -hmm. nothing. It literally does not matter. But anyways, if you want to do it, these I have are the leadership positions. I have so, a list yeah. of what you could be. So the first one that we have on the list, and it's we'll not start. in order. We'll start with the first two in order and then the rest is gonna be It's gonna be in order. Okay, let's do which one's the right. air box at the beginning or our box? Because he's the leader. Easy. Yeah, because he's the leader. Air okay. is just like the Marching person singer. Okay, the first one is our pop, our which pop. is recruit chief petty officer. Which I don't know how they got our pop from that, but it's our pop recruit chief petty officer. Yeah, so you can go ahead and tell them. And basically, our pop is going to be like the leader of the entire division. So basically, it depends on if you're male division, female division, or integrated. We were integrated, so our, our pop was a male who was. In control of the whole division basically he's going to be responsible for a lot of things just making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing and he's also going to be like leading you when it comes to going to the galley he's the one speaking to you guys telling you guys when to get up and you know basically he's like your little leader you know on yes everything so. and when we march in we're going off his foot <clears throat> yeah so he's not in the lines with us he's like standing on his own and we going off the way he marches. Exactly. So he's the one calling you guys to attention so, and stuff like that. If you're going to be our pop, please know how to walk. Because we have people who, like, they feet, I don't know, man. They feet don't be yeah. feeding. It would be like, we be on step and then they, they do something to throw the whole division off. And that whole, 
just please know how to walk. And if you're gonna be an art pop, know your shit. And don't be know really your stuff. Yeah. Like, just know your stuff because you're gonna be held accountable for everybody, and you need to be responsible. Literally, you need everything. To know everything that you need. You need to know everything, pretty much. So yeah. Okay. The next one is a rock, which I think is assistant recruit petty officer. Yeah. Or so something like that. So basically, a rock. He's the one that's. He's okay. So he or she. Yeah, he or she. So say that our pop, think of him as the CEO of the cabinet. And then A Rock is like the XO. Like he's the one that's more talking to like the people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like he's the one that's doing <laughs> cadences. So when you're marching, he's the one that's singing, singing the cadence off of our pop's foot. foot. Yes. So again, if you're going to be A Rock, you better know how to sing and you better know how to know which foot is going, which <laughs> Please. Yes. Know how to sing, and if you're not like a professional singer, just know how to keep tune. Yeah, stay in beat. Like I have rock that don't know how to stay on beat. Like stay in beat. Yeah, have that rhythm. Please have a little, little rhythm. Make your division look good. Yes, please. Okay, I want to delete them as we go. Okay, okay. you can do yeoman next. All right, the next one is yeoman. Um, you have a main yeoman, you have medical yeoman, and a dental yeoman. Your main yeoman is key. Should sure they know muster? Well. Attendance is basically muster. We call it muster in the military. So they take muster. They make sure everybody's accounted for. And that goes with anywhere you go. So if you got people leaving to go here and there, you make sure you muster every single time a person leaves or comes or returns. They do a lot of paperwork. And they the ones that work, I would say, like, more hand in hand. I think. I mean, it was just hard. A yeoman position is probably harder than any other position. Yes. Because. Like they get called a lot. Yeah, and you're pretty much responsible for everyone too. So just make sure if you want to do that, you're good at paperwork, you're good at noticing your mistakes and fixing it before somebody else notices it. Don't be making mistakes and nothing. And be good with um like your time management. Yes. Be on time. And be nice. Like I feel like people in boot camp, they kind of took their jobs over their head and really they was terrible at it. Yeah, so don't, don't be do like that. that. Listen to your people. Listen to your people, okay? Yeah, Listen make sure everybody's on one accord like don't be if you're stressed out don't take your stress out on everybody else like make sure you yeah. got people that's supporting you and helping you like you know you do got a tough job but at the end of the day don't take it out on everybody else if you gotta really if you feel like you're under pressure enough a lot then you need to go talk to your rdc's so they can assist you and if you're having an issue you need to talk to the people like us why are you like why are you, what are you having trouble with so that we can come with a system, like say that people, like this what goes to, with the medical and dental yeoman. If you need to go to medical and dental, you tell those yeoman, and then yeah, they tell the main yeoman. Yeah. So, like if you have that, make sure you tell them the right people so that the main yeoman is not mad. Like, cause it's this thing called a hard card, which is literally everything about your whole military life. You need you need stamps to go places, mm -hmm. and she has to do the stamps. So you need to make it easier on her to do her job so you can go where you need to go. Yes. So y'all just need to always just communicate, on what, cause that's what our division had a problem with. When it wasn't like communicating, everybody thought they knew everything. They didn't. And they were getting mad at everybody. So they need to have anything. a system, they need to talk to each other so everything can go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yes. So yeah, that's the yeoman's job. And don't be snitching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up we have head PO. Head means bathroom, PO means petty officer. Pretty much. So when you're in boot camp, it ain't no such thing as a bathroom anymore. You literally they're gonna be like, you far away from the bathroom. Head, H E A D. Head. Yes. This is the head. And okay. this was our head PO once upon a time. Yeah, I was the head PO, and I built a team. So on the head crew, you're pretty much gonna have eight people helping you, and everybody that's get put on that head crew, don't think you bougie, because when you're in the military, baby, all that. I'm I'm a super clean person too, so I know how I like stuff to be and. I really wasn't, I'm not a fan of bathrooms and stuff like that. You have to clean behind people. I'm not a fan of that. But being a head PO, that's what you have to do. So you got to get over it. If, you, if you're going to do that, hold it, hold everybody accountable. Accountable. Make sure everybody doing what they're supposed to do. And like, you can stand your ground. Like, you got eight people on your crew and only three people working and doing something that's wrong. Like, either rebuild your crew or get people who's dedicated and it's going to actually help you. And don't be acting stink like that you too good to be cleaning up like everybody gonna clean up so make sure you're doing everybody it. and do it with pride like, like, do it with pride right. because you have to use the head and you want it to be clean so bleach it yourself do what you need to do Pretty yeah much. and i feel like like say it's your bathroom at your house everybody say oh bathroom ew 
but you live yeah. there. So if he's saying ill, that means you're exactly. dirty. Exactly, and you should be cleaning I your own like restroom. Everybody should want to be in there wiping down shit to make sure everything's clean. Like, exactly. You you gonna start to feel comfortable with it because like it's y'all. Y'all the only mm -hmm. person that go in there, so y'all gonna ever be like, oh, the bathroom or the head. No, the head yeah, is clean. Like everything is exactly. nice and neat. That's how y'all should be like treat. This literally y'all house, literally. Literally, and so I, everybody be clean. Listen, it's gonna be perfect. I know cleaning is hell sometimes, like especially when it's behind other people. But like my house, my stuff is clean, okay. And I don't have a problem with doing it because I know who's using the bathroom and I know we got certain rules. But when you cleaning up the other grown adults, it get kind of nasty. And it's like yeah. you won't believe some of the stuff that you gonna see up in there. So All make right, sure she, she said we trifling and she's embarrassed to be one. Cause you have people oh, that be lying. People don't want to admit to what they did. Look after yourself. You oh, are a female. Pay attention to what you. If you put something on the top side of the toilet and you're not throwing it away, look behind yourself. Because you make don't sure want nobody else flushes. to go behind you and see that. That's embarrassing and it's nasty. So stop. Don't do it, please. I'm trying to tell you before you get there. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. Next we have laundry PO. Yeah. Well, all they do. Okay, I'm not saying all they do, but <laughs> cause they they job be tough too. Not gonna lie. But so all okay. Let me stop saying all they do. So what they do is they collect all the laundry mm -hmm. and they wash it and dry it for you. And you put it in this little knit bag. You put like your skivvies and your bras and your socks in the little knit bags. And you have like your shirts and whatever, whatever. And they just wash them in it. They wash your clothes, dry your clothes, and then hand them back out. Yeah. So be very grateful for them because. You only got like two of everything, except for skivvies. You got a lot of skivvies. Yeah, and just go and get it out your head that you're going to be able to wash your own stuff because it's not yeah. happening. You're going to have a laundry all. PO and they're going to be in charge of it. And that's like great because like, I don't have to wash it. Like, I'm used to washing my clothes. So, yeah. really, like, be nice. Be nice to everybody because literally everybody play a part. And volunteer to help them put it up. Like, pass out their stuff. Because at least, I mean, you might not can wash your own clothes, but at least you can help pass it out. Yeah. And don't be stuck with his clothes because people be doing it. Please don't. We all got our names still so on it. How you gonna steal somebody's stuff? And if you know you forgot it or like you mis misplaced it or something, just be honest about it. Like, don't take nobody else's stuff. All right. Next, you have male PO. Mm -hmm. The one everyone loves to see. Oh my god. The hard one out there on whole book account. They're the ones that pass out the mail and take your mail to the mail room. So we love them. We. Meloni. I know. <laughs> go, go, go get that mail. mail. What, what time would it be like? Nine o'clock? Like, like nine. Go get that mail, Meloni. Like right before it taps. Yeah, right. They pass it out during. During. Evening routine. Evening routine. Yeah. I'll be like. What time is it? You don't get. You only go get that mail, please. Well, yes. And when she don't give it to me, I'll be so mad. I'll be like, where's my mail? <laughs> I know. Okay. Next, you have APO, Athletic Petty Office. So when you're doing PT, they're the ones that's in the middle counting. Yeah, yeah. they're counting. They're basically showing you what to do when you're doing it. Yeah, they be like, no, your, your next something, what is it? Your, your next, next exercise yeah, will yeah. be da da da, 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 da. <laughs> Exercise, they be like, one, two, two three. And we be like, one, two, one, three. two, three, two. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, next you have education PO. Yes, what you need. Because you got tests, you gotta be studying. There's like stuff you gotta do. How to many study. is it? Two? And basic two tests? Well, you have three. The first one that you take, that's like, what is your first Oh, okay. Thing? So you have, when you get there, it's pre pretty much your depth test. And that's like stuff you should have learned before even getting in boot camp. Um, a lot of people don't learn it until they get in boot camp. Yeah. Because they just don't Not study me, it. Me. That depth book that you guys receive at, at MEPS or after MEPS. You better that, study that it, because that's in your test. And literally, as soon as they get there, they, like, you don't know, you won't have to know what a petty officer. Like, what I recommend the most to study is what a petty officer is, what they, what is it? Oh, um, all of, the, make sure you know all Call of their, device. um, what is it well, called? the color devices, yeah, but this is your patch. Make sure you know exactly what, what their patches are. What is it called? It's um, not called a patch, it's called, like, like, what the Chevron's not at. I know. I'm trying to think of what it's called. The little, the little rank, not the rank, the rank. It's their Simple rank. Stuff. Make sure you know. know their ranks. I'm not gonna. You need to, I'm gonna tell. You, I'm gonna give y'all a secret. The only people you really gonna see in boot camp is petty officers. You don't have to say first class, second class. You don't have to say petty officer, chief, and senior chiefs. You're not really gonna see no master chief. We had like only one master chief in the whole 
you'll see a master chief in the very beginning because they're going to come talk to you who and ours was a female we talked to her in pearl, pearl harbor she came and talked to us you okay well after that petty officer chief seeing chief and you're really not going to see officers but if you do see it it's just sorry ma'am please take it from me because I was on watch one time and I was like, good morning, Lieutenant. I ain't said sorry, I ain't said attention on that, but nothing. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Just make sure you know. Yeah. Like, okay, what is it? Know about? all your general orders. No, mom. I would say general you. orders and your rank of recognition. Rank I think recognition, them, those are the two the most things. important things you need to know. Yeah. When you first get there. And then you'll learn other stuff. Know that. Rank of recognition. General orders, the eleven general orders. That's what you need. Them the two things that you really, really need to know the most before you get there. You the can be most. a little like. I mean, if you guys, if I feel like if y'all have questions about something and like y'all want to know the answer to it, just put it in the comments below so I really can answer the question. Like, because I know we remember a lot, and if we don't know, we we find out the answer for you. So just make sure you yeah. put it in the comments below because we still pretty much remember. We fresh out of, kind of fresh out of basic. So. Just kind of go ahead and like ask because I feel like you ask other people that's older. They been in bootcamp like a long time ago. They might not like remember. Your, um, so recruiters. Yeah, they might not remember. So go ahead and ask us in the comments section. Yeah. Okay. So next one is section leaders. So section leaders, you kind of don't get to pick those. It's gonna yeah, you like they do because they walk. They tell you put your rack up, rack up, stick up. They gonna look at everybody's rack and whoever they think is the cleanest or the neatest, they gonna pick them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They don't get to pick. The RDC is going to pick. But we that depends pick, on you. They, we ain't get to pick shit either. They picked it. I feel like they find them with the heads in the beginning. Remember, they asked them like a certain question. And that's yeah, and it was intro them. for like, like a day. Yeah. You don't really get to pick anything. You but really don't. Section leaders, they are the people who are the neatest and the cleanest. Like they're uniform, they know how to fold everything. Mm -hmm. um, they go around, what well, is they supposed to go around? And make sure everybody's right. You know, gear drift. Gear drift, gear drift is stuff that's not supposed to be in like there. Like trash. Like, tr I have like cough drop papers and everything. Don't be clipping your finger and leaving them in your rack. That's nasty. Ew. <laughs> but that's gear drift though. Yeah. So, them is the, they're the, um, the cleanest police, kind of. And ours, like, like little pieces of paper, put me a notebook. All that's gear drift. Don't be doing that. Trust me, we it's know. It's supposed to be like, well, when our section this camera, I always had stuff in there. Like, I had pictures in there. Like, in your book in your book bag, it's supposed to be like, one pencil and one car mix. It's like so, like that, you know? And I always had extra shit in there, and they always took the shit out, and I just put it back in. Pay attention to detail. Okay. Attention to detail is what you're going to hear that whole boot camp experience of yours. Attention to detail. Attention to detail. Two more. Okay. We can cut some of this out. Yeah. Okay. So next you have MA, male and female MA. And she was also the ma I mean the oh. female <laughs> She was also the female MA. Yes. So you could tell them what you do with. So your MA is your master you at the house. Yeah. <laughs> your MA is your master at arms and it's basically somebody who's making sure everything is tidied up in the room or the compartment before you leave. Um you gotta make sure nobody's um what is it called? The um, A and B locker. Your A, B and lock, your A and B locker has drawer. to be locked at all the times. Your A yeah. and B drawer has to be locked at all times. Don't be leaving, unlocking your locker, setting your lock on the side and pushing the drawer and forget to push your lock on there. Yeah, you're going to get in real trouble. You're going to get in real trouble. If you leave it that, open, actually. that means that somebody can come look in there. So if you got some in there, which you ain't going to have that in there, but I'm saying like if you got some in there, like the Nutri Grain Boss, and it's already <laughs> unlocked, that means them RDC, cause you, oh, RDC can't nobody go in your AMB joint unless you get them a reason to. So if you leave it open, hell, anybody can go in there. No matter what you got to so, know, they can go in there, they can take stuff out, they can take it from you, honestly. Yeah. So, lock it. You might have money in there. Be responsible. Now. Not mine. Lock it. I'm and they also can, they have this thing in boot camp, I forget what it's called. It's like a chip, it's not a chip, but it's, uh, you get like a... It's kind of like a citation in civilian world, but I forget what it's called. Um, I'm gonna skip through that. If I find it, I'm gonna put it in the video. But anyways, they give you like this thing, they write your name down, and you kind of get in trouble for it. So basically, don't do that. Um, Not a demerit, but demerit chip. That's it. That is what oh, you yeah. get. You get a demerit chip. Thank you. You get a demerit chip, and that's on your hard card now. Yeah, and also the the MAs when we in class, 
really just in class if we outside a compartment if you have to use the head you have to give them your um training guide so them to let to let them know who's out yeah so yeah. and like i said the, it's the master at arms what do master at arms do they make sure everybody's intact doing what they're supposed to be doing they're gonna be yelling we're gonna lock it up. Yeah, tell you to be quiet <laughs> just lock it up and you need to be following the instructions like if you hear our rpoc tell you to get in attention stand at attention you need to be standing at attention your master at arms should not have to tell you to stand at attention you should already be doing that don't think you're grown don't think you know what you're doing i don't care if you're 35 years old if you in boot camp you are a child to them you sorry are to child. say it, no matter sorry. how old you, you just need to be doing what you're supposed to do you're gonna be sitting on the floor 30 years old sitting on the floor so please don't <laughs> don't go in there acting like you know everything because i'm 25 years old they made me feel like hell of a child up in there. So please, go in there with the same mindset that you should be having because you want to get out. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, and the last ones, which is the ones that you might have most problems with, which I didn't, but I had to make it clear. Which one is that? Poor and Star Watch. Oh. Baby, don't even put me. <laughs> please don't put me on the all the night watches. Oh my God, literally. Watch. Okay, this is how they get you. This is how they get you. I swear to God. They always trying to get you ladies. Okay, so Starboard Pro Watch is whenever they don't want to make the watch bills, which is basically when you stand watch. Stand watch is when you stand at the door or your rover, so you walk around the compartment. When you first go, they one hour long, right? Yeah. Then when you get to your house or your compartment, whatever, your ship, it goes to two hours. Then, then. When you get a little bit more deeper in the mornings or like the afternoon thick ain't like five hours or four. Is it four? Four It's four hour watches in the morning. Yeah, four hours. Like are you kidding me? But like in no, the no, night No no no. It's two. It's two regulars. It's two but it's four. You get two regulars and then you got four hour watches. Yes. And me, I told my star watch I don't know if you talking about pro watch. I'd rather have a four hour watches during the day than Waking up at my sleep for two hours to do watch, bro. Like, that is just so ghetto. And then, it, it had got... Okay, sorry, y'all. Okay, so, yeah. So, yeah. They're the ones that make you the watches. And when... Because people get fired all the time. Mm -hmm. You might have one that's, like, they're not doing it right at all. And they get fired. So, you just have to... I feel like when you doing that, you need to talk to the people. Yeah. And you need to rotate it. Because for, like, a long period of time, for, like, a week... This person was giving us the same watches, so we constantly With waking the same up people. two hours out of sleep every day. Like, you need to rotate. Them. They always got an excuse or something. So, yeah. y'all need to work So, mix it up and just be considerate that everybody going to have a watch. Don't think you ain't going to have it. Everybody going to have a watch. And, um, yeah. Oh, if you don't watch on time, please. Yes. Oh, and if you, like, young men, I'll probably A-Rod, probably M-A. I don't really remember. But them three specifically, y'all going to have night watches. Because y'all can't have watch during the day because y'all job is too important. So that's another thing you need to know. Yo man, A Rock and R Pod cannot have watch at night. Yeah. I mean they can't have watch during the day. They, have they never have gave it to me at night. But but some you don't have watch every single night. It's probably well, like I said, depending on the There person, might be a day that you don't have watch at all and you think, boy, utilize that. Sleep. Well sometimes in a week, I probably only have watch like twice. Yeah. It depends. But I'd rather have watch during the day than at night because I need to sleep. You already only get like what five hours. So like for yeah. me to have three like that come on now. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, so that's pretty much all the leadership roles. We just want to make this real quick video for you guys. And um yeah, like I told y'all more content on the way and I'm definitely not trying to give y'all no more five minute videos. So no more. I got y'all, I got y'all. Whatever y'all wanna know, make sure you put it in the comment section, okay? Like the video, subscribe, share it if you want to. Share. Okay. Everybody need to know this. I know y'all. I know y'all be what, having questions. Y'all be watching videos because yes. that's what I did. I watched all the videos. So, so yeah, we're putting them out here for y'all. So go ahead, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'm gonna catch y'all later. Period. Oh, Bye. and go subscribe to my girl. Oh yeah. Nicole, and I'm gonna do one right now about the Starbucks um, Pro Watch. Oh yeah. 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 Personal fitness. So we said OPFA. What does that mean? Official. Official assessment. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, I so I'm gonna do the PFA part of boot camp, all the PRT yeah. stuff. So I'm gonna do that right now for y'all. So so go like ahead over, then go watch my channel. channel. I know you need to know. And she gonna hook y'all up. Period. All right, later, y'all. Bye.